Today we did some test and evaluation work with the Puma All Environment Unmanned Aircraft System. It's a system that NOAA's bought two of, and we're using them uh, in various areas around the country, using the National Marine Sanctuary sites, field sites, as laboratories to develop the protocols and procedures to use them for surveying marine wildlife. Puma unmanned aircraft system is it's what's called a small UAS. It's uh, about 13 pounds. It's got a wingspan of a little less than nine feet, and the fuselage is about four feet long. And the aircraft is very, very lightweight. It's very quiet. It's electrically powered and flies within a line of sight of its ground control or where the operator is. And it's got a range of about 15 kilometers. It sends full motion video and infrared imagery back to the ground control station where it's all recorded digitally. And along with the images, all the uh, telemetry or, or metadata with each image is recorded. Okay. Tell you what, Nick. Yeah. Drag um, a. Uh, Do you want to go to like orbit three? Just yes. So a lot of these areas are very hard to access and the National Park Service's wilderness designation does not currently allow any mechanized equipment to operate in them. So by operating from offshore, we were able to survey the remote coast for our principal objective, which was seabird surveys, and also a secondary objective, which was to document and quantify any debris from the recent Japanese tsunamis that may be uh, piling up in these pocket uh, beaches and inaccessible coves. The Puma system is called all environment because it can be recovered in the water, on the land, on ice, in a parking lot, in a grass field. It's very versatile. Photo? Oh, pan up. Pan left. Oh, yeah, nah, never mind. This is really equipment that was designed and developed for the military. And so the fact that it's military spec hardware, and it's a repurposing, really, of, of, an, of investments that have been made in developing this technology that we're able to take advantage of.